We're on our way back up to spend another day dismantling the greenhouses that we're going to haul down to the ranch in Sonoida. This is Picture Rocks, uh, northwest of Tucson, and we're driving again through Sequoia National Park. Those big cacti there are sequoias. The weather is warming up, and we hear there might be rattlesnakes around here. Yeah, once you see the way these are constructed, uh, it, it can probably work out pretty well once you look at, because you open the door and you walk downstairs, and I want to say there's three courses of cinder block up before the greenhouse itself starts. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Here they are. There's two of these. That big box on the left is a big swamp cooler, and you're going to need that in Arizona. We have uh, a lot of nuts, bolts, screws, and clamps to disassemble. Kind of a complicated little building, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, just slam them all down right there. We get them. I brought our sandwiches out here because uh, it's getting warmer in the car. I'm going to set them right here. Okay. Uh, Aaron, probably, I don't know if you had breakfast or not, but your sandwich is there. Oh, yeah, I did eat. Okay, we did too, so we're not quite ready. Hey, Jared? Yeah. Rake and a shovel. Look there. Uh, there's a bigger rake and a larger shovel right over there. Well, three long, hard days, and the greenhouses are disassembled. They're gone. Well, they're not gone. <laughs> they're still here, but they're in many, many, many pieces. But it feels good to be down the road this far on this project. So we uh, got the greenhouse all cleared out and then the lady who lives here, who's a snake expert, there's the head right there. Came along yeah. and looked and What's said, here? looky here. There's, there's the a snake right there. Yep. It's a diamond back rattler right in the crack. You know the funny thing is, I knew that they were in the kitten work, but I didn't expect one to be here when you guys were working. Our fourth day on site, uh, and that was loading everything up into a big 20-foot U-Haul uh, truck that we rented. It wasn't planned that day, but we had some family show up to help us. Uh, my brother Roger on the left there with the white beard. My cousin Mike in the middle with the purple shirt and me on the right. Uh, and of course, uh, my son Peter there in the foreground. And We didn't plan it that uh, they would come and help us, but they happened to be in the area and we brought them along to help load up all of the greenhouse parts into a 20 foot box truck. And uh, it was kind of an exciting day for them with the rattlesnakes. We discovered that there was a rattle sticking out from underneath that barbecue. We've been surrounded by rattlesnakes these four days we've been working here. Fortunately, the guy with the snake hooks there, a friend of ours, Jesse, actually is uh, professionally qualified to do what's about to happen. He worked at the San Diego Zoo and uh, Portland Zoo for years. Don't anybody stand behind me if I run. Well, <laughs> well, don't run straight back because there's yeah, another one behind you. <laughs> Not as a snake handler, but he um, is also a hobbyist, herpetologist, I guess you call him. I'm going to 
know, I hear you. You're fine. But my buddy might made it. That's gorgeous. Here, bro. Which way are you going? Are there two of them, Jesse? I'm out of here. He's going that way, right? That thing's full of water, it's really heavy. Where are you trying to go with it, Jesse? I'm going that way. I know you're mad. Looks like the snake's going that way. Huh? So it looks like the snake's going that way. Well, unfortunately, they're kind of little. Oh, look how beautiful. He's up. He's up. Where's the other one? It's right behind you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly get this one. Where is the other one? It's a oh, you know what? Put them in here and then carry this oh, away. Oh, I could, yes. It's heavy, but it's got stuff in it. Come here, girl. Shay, I got you. Don't even worry about it. I have a real a good snake bucket with a twist top. I'll just move them out. Okay. It's no biggie. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's back under you there. To barbecue a little bit, Jesse? Oh. Yeah, yeah, come here. I know, I know you're mad. I know, I know. You're just so mad. That might be a I don't know. I can't tell those nails. See, they're hot. When they get hot. Did you see it strike? Did you see it strike? It yeah, didn't it strike. Huh? It didn't strike. No, it didn't turn. Well, it sure looked... But I was getting out of its way in case it wanted to. You don't want to get bitten by Oh, coming my way. No way. No way. No way. Just let me, uh... I'm just keeping it from coming out here. <laughs> Let us know if he's coming this way. There were only two, right? <laughs> yep. You done? Can I go move them now? Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go move them now. Well, scratch that off your bucket You got list. a third one over here. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh. No, that one's okay. He can be where he's at. Just be careful. You can't be where you're doing that, maybe. No. Who's on the list? 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 Who's on the Oh, do you want me to go farther? No, she With likes them? them. Oh, okay. Right? She, just, know, she just doesn't want them to get stepped on here while we're working the rest of the That's day. That's the reason you never saw them until now. Right. <laughs> because I don't bother them. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, working on my exit, okay? Oh. Oh. But you can always jump in the pool. Oh, that was a strike. Yeah. No he wasn't serious though. Nah. He was like, that was a half ass strike. And then there's this cute girl right here. It's a pit. Oh, he's looking for her. I think. Yeah, I think so. I know. Come on, baby. Get my girlfriend out here. I'm waiting 
It's also hard on flat ground. Like the other one here was too. Oh, the, well, you could, not, if you don't need that piece of PVC. No, no, we don't need it. It got a little frosty here lately. I know this isn't a big deal in a lot of the parts of the country, but here in sunny Arizona, 30 miles from the Mexican border, we are taking note of it. My tricycle is shivering. We need some sunshine. It's not like I haven't seen snow before. This is where I grew up. And the blizzard of 52 covered up our two-story house. We'll be fine. The diesel furnace in the motorhome is working great. But it might be time to think about going home to sunny old Mexico. And as a matter of fact, we bought a ticket. We're flying in about three weeks to our home in Ajijic, Mexico. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.